but also I care more about color schemes than actual colors, you know? Like it's about the vibe, not the actual color. Hello lovely humans, welcome to the space on the internet. I was on our species' Instagram, go check it out. I like to post infographics there that are a lot like or related to the sort of content we have on our YouTube channel here, which includes stuff about asexuality, romanticism, queerness, gender queerness, neurodiversity, and so on. But anyways, I was looking on our Instagram and one of the people I follow, Black Ace Fairy, She had linked a quiz called What Type of Asexual Are You? And I just became overwhelmed with the desire to film a video of myself taking this quiz to find out just what kind of asexual I am. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go. I will link the test, the quiz, the online quiz thing. I'll link it in the description. That's what it's called. <laughs> Take the test with me, maybe. Um, this is like future me after having taken the test and being very happy with my result, telling you to take the test with me so that we can both be happy about our results at the end together. Sound good? Yeah, okay. Go click on the link and then take the test with me. Let's go. So what type of asexual am I? Um, let's put my name in. L. my name's L, by the way, if you haven't watched our videos before. And starting the quiz. Which of these kids shows did you watch the most as a kid? Strawberry shortcake. That's the only one I know. I like strawberry shortcake. Okay, next. Which of these Greek goddesses do you associate with most? I'm not super well versed in Greek mythology. I'm gonna just go, oh yeah, I'm gonna put no idea. The only one I can like remember kind of about, I think is Demeter because she was, she was the underworld fairy person's mother who like made the seasons happen or something. She was the harvest one who was angry about her daughter being taken away to the underworld. Anyways, no idea. I have no idea which Greek goddesses, goddesses I identify with most. Question three. Which of these Greek gods do you associate with most? Apollo, Helios, stop asking about Greek gods, <laughs> uh, Dionysus, Pan, Zeus? Well, not Zeus. Pan sounds cool. I just like the name Pan. Maybe because I like pansexuality as a concept, but also I just like the name Pan because wasn't the daemon in the Golden Compass Lyra's daemon named Pan? Why do I feel like that's... maybe... I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna click Pan, even though I don't really know about any Greek gods. Who is the most an annoying character on this list in your opinion? <laughs> Ross Keller! Oh my gosh, yes, he is so annoying. Sheldon Cooper. Um, I don't find Sheldon Cooper annoying because, like, I don't know. It was very obvious that they intended to make him, like, the way he is, so, I don't know. He's not annoying. I don't know who Barney Stinson is. I haven't watched How I Met Your Mother. I don't know who Raphael Solano is from Jane the Virgin. Who even are these people? Well, I do know Ross Geller from Friends, and I do find him annoying. He's, like, the nice guy trope, where it's, like, he thinks he's, like, a little bit better than most cis men. So he thinks that all women should just, like, love him just because he does just more than the bare minimum, you know? He's like, I don't know. I don't know. He weirds me out a little bit. Like, he has some cool stuff. I love the show Friends, even though it's very problematic because those things can coexist. Those things can coexist. But anyways, I'm going to click Ross from Friends. Yes. Which of these super ace characters do you most relate to? Charlie Weasley! Don't know who Anathema is or Ted Shavis, but I know Bojack Horseman, not because I've watched it, but because when I did my ranking headcanon or canon asexual characters in TV and film, he was recommended a lot, but I haven't watched the show, and I don't really have a desire to watch the show, but apparently he is really good ace representation. Jughead Jones, I haven't read the Archie comics. I watched the first two seasons of Riverdale before it got, like, really weird, apparently. We're gonna say Charlie Weasley, even though Harry Potter sucks. It doesn't, like, suck entirely, but it can be anti-Semitic, and J.K. Rowling is incredibly transphobic, and you should not buy Harry Potter merch to support the Harry Potter franchise if you can help it, because you are directly funding transphobia, especially very vocal transphobia in the form of J.K. Rowling's writing that actually has the power to change political practices and 
medical practices. But I do understand that Charlie Weasley is really cool and he likes dragons and he's very ace, so I'm gonna cook him anyways. Okay, click. Okay, good. Okay, favorite color. Shades of pink, red, orange, yellow, brown, and or white. Shades of green, blue, purple, gray, and or black. That's difficult because I like the combination of pink, red, orange, yellow, brown, and white. Like, in general, kind of like, I guess I'm wearing that mostly right now. Um, in general, I like that scheme better, but I like the physical colors green, sort of blue, purple. I like green and purple. Maybe it's asking because of like the arrow and ace flag. Because green and purple are like my favorite colors, I think. But also, I care more about color schemes than actual colors, you know? Like, it's about the vibe, not the actual color. Anyways, um, let's go with the color scheme one, then. Why not? Let's go. Huh, my Timo is telling me to chill out, because I'm supposed to be chilling out. But instead, I just felt the overwhelming urge to film this video, so that's what we're doing. Last question! Okay. What kind of art are you into the most? Writing and or drawing, photography, dancing and or singing, painting and or sculpting, or potions slash spells? I mean, all of those sound very fun. Into the most, like, like looking at other people, or the kind I do the most, because I dance the most. I'm a dancer, by the way. I do dancing. I'm also a writer, though, but I don't do- no, oh, no, that's not- well, I do photography, actually. I have a photography account on Instagram. I do write. I don't really draw. I want to draw, but I feel like it's just- it's just too hard for me. My younger brother is an awesome drawer, and I admire him so much because he has like a distinct style and I just think it's so cool when artists, particularly drawing artists, have like a distinct style, especially if it's like character art. I think character art is so cool. I wish I could do it. I mean, I could do it technically, but I, when I've tried, I've just gotten frustrated with it not working out the way I wanted it to. Anyways, not drawing, but definitely writing. I've always written my whole life. I love writing. I love photography too, but I feel like I'm actually really into photography. Oh, it's such a combination. We're gonna go dancing, but I really don't sing. Like, really, really don't sing. I don't do potions or spells. I mean, I feel like I could get into it, I'm just not. We're gonna go writing and drawing. Yes. Yes. Click next. Oh, what'd I get? I got a dragon ace! Yo, that's so cool. Dragon ace is my result. Go away, Puma. I bought shoes from you when I was like nine. Anyways. I got Dragon Ace. You were absolutely devastated when you found out that dragons weren't real and probably have a ton of fantasy books. Spiderwood, Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, etc. I have Harry Potter. I don't have the other ones. I've been recommended Percy Jackson and I've considered reading it, but I just never got around to it. Books about fantasy creatures. Do octopuses count? I have- I love- I love octopuses and they're kind of like fantasy creatures. Like, the kraken is kind of like an octopus and like, they're wild and people think they're aliens and stuff. So I feel like octopuses count. Probably have made a joke about being immune to sirens. You're not. You love the How to Train Your Dragon movies? I do love the How to Train Your Dragon movies. They're so good. Watch them please, because they're amazing and they make my heart melt and they are so good. And like, just the best. I love the How to Train. I am loving this test. Okay. I am a dragon ace. I will now be referring to myself as a dragon ace. And you should definitely take this test and then tell me what you get in the comments so we can bond over it. Especially if you're another dragon ace. That's pretty cool. I'm sure the other results are really cool too. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and I hope you had fun with me and maybe you took the test with me. I should say that in the beginning. Okay, rewinding to the beginning. Take the test with me maybe. Um, this is like future me after having taken the test and being very happy with my result, telling you to take the test with me so that we can both be happy about our results at the end together. Sound good? Yeah, okay. Go click on the Farewell, lovely humans. We'll see you next time on the space in the internet. Bye!